Is Budvar Nealcohol just the Czech version of Budweiser non-alcoholic? Find out in today's video. Now, if it's your first time watching our video, my name is Christabel. I'm Audrey. And we're from OneCupSober.com. Now, Audrey, do you want to share a bit about Budvar Nealco? So this is actually a really interesting beer in that it has been involved in a lot of trademark disputes with none other than Budweiser. Woo! Yeah, so actually Budweiser is just a type of beer and so these two companies have been fighting back and forth about who gets to name their beer Budweiser. The result is that in North America, Budweiser as you know it, it goes by Bud, whereas in alcohol, in, alcohol, in Europe, uh, this brand can call their beer Budweiser. Oh. Yeah. You also notice that the font is strikingly similar. Really similar. <laughs> and it's not even like a good beer to copy. I mean, I'm sorry, but no one goes and be like, Budweiser, that's the beer I want to copy. The name recognition. True. Yeah. So, well, as you can see, it is a lager we're trying today. Is this lager going to impress us? Is it going to impress us more than Bud Zero? We don't know. So let's go ahead and crack this one open, shall we? This is the second best selling beer in the Czech Republic behind Pilsner Urquell, so that's mm. something. Well, I'm definitely excited to try this beer because it's everywhere in Europe. Every supermarket we've been in, it's been there calling out to us. Oh, it, it does pour like a Budweiser, doesn't it? Yeah, kind of a golden amber. You've got... So here we go. It's the classic lager. <laughs> uh, lots of combination. Mm -hmm. Quite yeah. clear. Go, go number, yeah. The head is just. Where's the head? Was yeah. it left behind in the Czech Republic, maybe? Uh, maybe. Ah. <laughs> Do you want to go ahead and tell us how this this lager smell? Yeah. Uh huh. Tall your beer, people. Tall your beer, right. yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh wouldn't you know it smells just like a supermarket lager? Oh, I can't wait to try it now. Mm. Honey, yeah. malt, quite sweet on the nose. Very sweet. I can I can smell the malt sweetness. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're right. Like It's just malt heavy, isn't it? Guess, I'm getting bready malts. Mm, it's delicious. not unique yeah. in flavor or smell. Well, there's not a lot of honey. Um, notes of honey but you do yeah, it's just pure malt here um, and the grassiness some kind of grassiness that's quite common with lagers um, but I will go ahead and try this one now when I the suspense is killing me <laughs> sorry hmm. it's very very malty it's got a very strong malt backbone. Um, that's just the, the, the bulk of the flavor, really. Um, bready malts there. It's got a slightest hint of hot bitterness as you finish each um, each, each swipe. Um, sip? Yeah, it's sip, <laughs> swipe. I'm very drunk. I don't know. It's 0 0.5 alcohol. Could I possibly be drunk there? Um, what do you think about this? The... I find the flavor to be a bit watery. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty carbonated as well, so those two things together gives a really weird drinking sensation. It's just thin. It's yeah. It's 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 light. It's thin. It's not going to blow anyone's mind. It tastes just like a Euro lager. It's actually pretty good. Like it goes down easy. Yeah. I know it's not going to sit in my stomach. The finish is dry, and the finish is slightly bitter as well. There's a lingering slight bitterness. Um, malt sweetness. What do you think? Just barely noticeable, some malt sweetness. It's decent. I think it balances the um, hot bitterness, um, but neither the hot bitterness nor the malt sweetness is strong. Mm -hmm. um, There's just not a lot of strong flavor in this one. It's just very malty. Yeah, it's like malt water. Oh, malt You've water. You've heard of hop water. This is malt water. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, out of five stars, what would you give this version of the Budweiser? I'm gonna go the one and a half. Ooh, yeah, I would say that too. Like, it's okay, isn't it? Sorry. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll drink this on. You know, if it's available, it's hot outside. We're I'm dying of thirst. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I think it's great when it's when you're thirsty because it's not sweet. Mm -hmm. So it will definitely quench your th your thirst. Mm -hmm. So that's all we have for you in this Putva Nialco review. If you enjoyed this review, go check out other reviews on OneCupSober.com. Cheers. Cheers.